Good morning everybody. Today um, I'm kind of disappointed because I made a few videos this morning and when I came to put them in the computer the files were corrupted for some reason and I don't know why. Anyhow when I did this plant I actually removed the blossom after it and then threw it out but yeah I still want to show this again because it's kind of important. This is a Russian called RS Dryada and I will insert a picture of what the blossom is supposed to look like. And what I wanted to show you this morning, and I did the video, is this is the first blossom that came out on my plant. Now if you look at the picture, I will be inserting. The whole flower is like a whiny color, a per dark purple whiny color with white spots. Now my first bloom is coming out with a lavender flower, but it has the back petals have um, purple, well not purple, the, the, the right color tips, and has the white fantasy. So you see the white fantasy on it, and there's some here, same thing, it's like a petal, uh, it's tipped. This is called, well, okay. There may be two reasons for this happening. This plant may have sported. And this is why I wanted to talk about this this morning because sometimes African violets sport. This means that it's a kind of a mutation. You can plant a, a leaf from a... Normally when you plant a leaf from a plant, the babies will produce flowers that look like the, the flowers on the mother plant. But sometimes they sport and they mutate into something else. Actually, I find this is a better version of, um, it's a prettier one, it's very different. The, the original version is very, very pretty. But this one is also very special. Now, this may, also, this may be a sport. This is the first time it blooms for me and it also may be the first blossom. Sometimes the first blooms of a plant will bloom differently. You often, often see this in um, plants that are uh, supposed to flower with uh, flowers that have edges. This is a sample. Let me just show you a sample of a flower with an edge. When we play around with these, often the first blooms will come out without edges. And then the second blooms will come out with the edges. It's almost as if the, the first time the plant blooms it's like not all settled in yet all the genes are not like locked in um, and often by the time it blooms the second time everything's in order everything's in place the plant knows what to do and it shoots out the right color of blooms so that can be a first blossom but it can also be a sport now the next um, well this one's gone so <laughs> it won't be this one but the next time it blooms, I will know if, uh, if all the flowers come out this way, it will be a sport of the plant. And if the colors come out correctly, well, it will be a copy of the mother plant. So this is why I wanted to talk about this one this morning. So I, as we can see on the sides, it does have the, the, the genes are in it. And what you can't see in the camera, and I can see it in person, the lavender portion also has the white spots in it. You can't, it doesn't come through in the camera. But so the genes are there. The genes of the white fantasy spots, it's in there. This one is just doing some weird tips, which is very, very pretty. Anyway, so I will keep you informed on this little plant. If you are buying a lot of Russians, either from me or anybody else, you will notice that the Russians have a tendency to sport more than the American or the Canadian varieties. It's probably because they're not going through all the uh, the different generations in the beginning. Normally when a plant is created in the beginning, the person who, the hybridizer will, will grow the baby plant up to maturity and then take a leaf off that plant and then grow a new plant. So generation number two, and from the, the second plant, they will grow another uh, plant another leaf and grow another plant so that's a, that's a third generation and if all three generations bloom the same way 
we can suppose that the plant is stable, the genes are stable, and it should remain stable um, in the future. Now, sporting can happen with any plant, even if the generation, uh, the genes are locked in, but they have less chances of sporting out once the genes are locked in. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I would presume that uh, what the Russians are doing is they're not going through all the generation process to lock in the genes. And this is why we're getting in a lot of sports from the Russians. However, I really need to mention that the sports of the Russians are 99.9% .9 as beautiful or more beautiful than the parent plant. So it's, it's not... Um, it's not a bad thing. Uh, if you're going to show, of course, well, it becomes more difficult because the descriptions won't match with your flowers. But if you're growing for uh, as a hobby for your own pleasure, the Russian sports are all as beautiful or more as the original plant is supposed to be like. So depending on what you're doing, if you're growing as a hobby, don't be afraid of the Russians. You may have surprises or it may look like it's supposed to look. Uh, it's all fun and you know this is a, for me this is a nice surprise of course I have other others growing of this variety so I may have some that um, bloom like they're supposed to but honestly if this one sticks and uh, I'll put it through the uh, the generation process it will become a new bloom lovers one because I love it but it has to the genes have to stick it'll be some time now I'll keep you updated on this one as we go along Hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.